Almost a quarter of a century ago, the Cordo family had a dream to produce quality wine in South Australia, one of the best known wine regions in the world. Today, the dream has become reality. Cordo Wines is state of the art, blending a care for the environment with modern wine production techniques to produce quality wine for world markets. Based at Hogwash Bend in the Mid-Murray region of South Australia and close to the famous Barossa Valley, Cordo Wines is an acknowledged supplier of wines to local and overseas markets. This short DVD details the history of Cordo Fine Wines, its commitment to quality, its care for the environment, and its determination to meet your exacting needs. The Riverland, Australia. Where bright sun meets the cooling waters of Australia's greatest river, the River Murray. A river described as Australia's Mississippi. Australia's Nile. A rich lifeline between Australia's ancient northern deserts and its fertile southern coastal regions. A centuries-old crucible of life in an environmentally pristine land. Where unique wildlife share an abundance of land with environmentally sensitive development. A perfect home for the Cordo Vineyard at Hogwash Bend, producers of premium quality wines. The Cordo Vineyard is situated in the Riverland of South Australia, the heartland of Australia's wine industry. Much of Australia's fine wine exported throughout the world is sourced from here, where the sun, soil and moisture combine to yield unique growing conditions for thousands of hectares of vines. Few wine regions in the world can boast these ideal conditions. This is the source for the range of premium wines bottled under the Hogwash Bend, Desert Edge and Watch Hours Landing labels. And new in 2009, the Cordeaux wine range, featuring Shiraz, Merlot and Chardonnay. The Hogwash Bend Cordeaux vineyard is owned by Joe and Christine Cordeaux, who purchased the property in the mid-1980s. Hogwash Bend is located on the River Murray, 22 kilometres west of Wakery, one of the Riverland's major towns, and about 30 minutes from South Australia's famous Barossa Valley, and about two hours from Adelaide, South Australia's capital city. Hogwash Bend is part of the Riverland wine region, and is bordered by other vineyards with world reputations. The Hogwash Bend property is essentially divided into three zones. 400 acres of land overlooking the river, which forms the bulk of the vineyard, the development of which commenced in the early 1990s. A further 300 acres immediately adjacent, made up of desert and dune country, interspersed by natural bushland, the development of which as vineyards commenced in 2001. And a low-lying floodplain of about 150 acres on the river's edge, and regarded as a wildlife sanctuary. Hogwash Bend is regarded as one of the region's most historic and picturesque properties. The area was first developed in the late 1800s, when its commanding position made it a natural wooding up point for the many paddle steamers which plied the Murray. It was known as Watchow's Landing, taking its name from Hermann and Emma Watchow, hardy pioneers of German extraction typical of South Australia's early settlers. The indescribably hard work and deprivations suffered by the Watch Hours are still in evidence today, typified by their tiny first home, built in 1878, and today housing the Cordo's extensive cellar. Also still standing is the Watch Hours Smokehouse, where Herman cured his hams and wursts. As their fortunes increased, the Watch Hours developed the main homestead in which the Cordo's live today a substantial sandstone residence built with Germanic resolve to last the centuries. As life improved for the Watch Hours, Emma took to developing roses around the property to the point that it became known as Rose Farm. 
A century later, Christine Cordeaux has resurrected the tradition. How Herman and Emma would marvel at the development of their struggling farm to world standard vineyard. Hogwash Bend and the Cordo Vineyard, carrying on the historic traditions of Watch Hours Landing for future generations. As to be expected in a region where dry northern deserts give way to abundant life-sustaining waters, Australia's Riverland is teeming with wildlife. Here, the rich pantheon of Australia's unique fauna, from kangaroos to kookaburras, are on show in all its rich diversity. Magnificent stands of river red gums are home to countless flocks of native bird species, while the river itself supports native water birds, ducks and pelicans, sometimes numbered in their thousands. In this environment, maintaining this ecological balance is imperative to the health of the River Murray itself, an enormous 60 million year old water source critical not only to water users, but absolutely vital to the natural environment. None more sensitive to these needs are those who live on the river and who rely on it for their economic well-being. Today, New Age agriculturalists like the Cordos realise the river must be preserved. As modern vignerons, they've been able to draw on the expertise of world-leading experts in dry land agriculture, which has led to the development of state-of-the-art water management infrastructure, the envy of many others in the region. Careful water management begins right at Riverside, where new pumps draw modest volumes of water through banks of Galaxy self-cleaning filters. Computer control provides instantly variable pump speeds, drawing only the right amounts of water when it's needed. This water enters a totally enclosed, newly laid network of pipes, which carry the water to the vines. Finally, the water is delivered by Netafim drippers located just above each individual vine's root system, where each drop is most efficiently used. Water delivery to virtually each individual vine is highly controlled. Sophisticated moisture and weather monitoring stations linked by satellite telemetry constantly update computers controlling water delivery. 450 acres of land are under vine and a further 150 acres of plantings are planned. The area's topography, coupled with its microclimate, ensures that frosts are negligible, and in a region where the sun shines for an average 300 days every year, growing conditions in a pollution-free environment are ideal. When it's time to pick the crop, the Cordo Vineyard uses Gregoire harvesters exclusively. With its gentle vibration of vines and its superior crop conveyor systems, Gregoire technology is regarded as the world's best. The vineyard now produces a wide range of grape varieties, including Shiraz, Cabernet Sauvignon, Merlot, Petit Verdot, Sangiovese, Tempranello, Chardonnay, Verdello, Semillon, and Viognier. The brands of Hogwash Bend Desert Edge and Watch Hours Landing are premium quality varietal and blended wines, utilising classic combinations with a modern twist by Australian winemaker John Swatchkoff. John and his team from Dorian Estate is one of South Australia's leading winemakers and carefully blends the wine to produce products of outstanding quality and taste. The result is fruit driven generously ripe and rounded wines. These Cordo wines are produced exclusively for Cellar Masters, one of the world's leading wine suppliers. Further varietals and blends are planned and further international markets are being sought. Back in the days when the early settlers were developing the Riverland region, the River Murray was Australia's business superhighway. Great paddle steamers transported the wool and wheat and cattle which sustained the fledgling colony. Today, the paddle steamers have been retired from heavy work to carry new cargo. The thousands of tourists who flock to the region to admire its unique ecological diversity 
and enjoy its recreational opportunities. Today, the River Murray is a tourist playground, complementing its reputation as a producer of fine wines. Recognising this, the Cordos play a major role in facilitating tourist events. In 2001, the Cordos hosted local, national and international guests when the Australian Government's 100 years of Federation paddle steamer sail passed, wended its way from the upper reaches of the Murray to its outlet at the sea. Throughout the year, the paddle steamers and fleets of increasingly sophisticated houseboats motor languidly past the billabongs and backwaters which attract tourists who not only enjoy the river, but get to call in on local vineyards and wineries. Others are happy to spend a few days camping on the river's edge, while the more energetic turn their hand to water skiing or other aquatic action sports. Underpinning this growth in tourism is the Cordo's care for the environment and their deliberate policy of maintaining a haven for the area's wildlife. The Cordo's future plans include improvements to tourist amenities to ensure many more people get to experience what the Riverland region means to Australia and its wine production. The Hogwash Bend Cordo Vineyard, developing the River Murray sensitively for future generations. <laughs>